The 2010s was one of the whitest decades since the 1860s, but for the first time in history, white women may have surpassed their male counterparts in the whiteness scale. If the last 10 years were human, they would slip on their Uggs, dial nine, one, and just wait for your ass to do something. It would be impossible to name all the brave Ambers and Tiffany's who produced this record supply of Caucasian tears and police calls. So, to celebrate the decade of the Becky, we decided to pay homage to the Tommiest of the Lawrence, the Amiest of the Amys, the creamiest of the crop of Beckys. The person or the group of people who deserve the whitest women of the decade or the group of police callers. And I've actually thought about this a lot, right? Would it be the woman who worked behind the desk at Starbucks and just called the police on a group of black guys for just waiting? Cause it's hard to be scary when you're just waiting. Barbecue Becky, like on that phone, like not minding her own business. She could have had a great piece of pork but she decided to call the police. Another former pig, actually. Abigail Fisher, AKA, my scores are too short to box with God, AKA, Becky with the bad grades, AKA, I failed math, had moderately above average grades, tried to get into the University of Texas, was not able to get in, and then blamed black people. You had this Wonder Bread ass motherfucker suing because she wasn't considered a pancake. And the thing is, not everyone can be a pancake. Some people are Wonder Bread. And that's not even like a white thing, like I'm a Wonder Bread ass nigga, I'm, I'm an average person, and that's fine. I know I'm not French toast. I would like to give the award to 53% of y'all. Thank you for 2016. Yeah, what's that all about? Taylor Swift, man. Taylor Swift's decade was so white, like she became like, unknowingly, or maybe she did know, that she was like a white supremacist icon. But Taylor Swift also had a lot of amazing things happen to her that were white. She had like her beef with Kanye, that was super white. For years, white women have had like this role in oppression, have had this role in bias, have had this role in hate. Blonde white women did a lot this decade. They advanced the cause of white women further than they have in any point in history. And you see it today with people like Tom Cat, Larceny, with Megyn Kelly, and Culture, with Kellyanne Conway. And these are women who are instruments of hate. A lot of white women take a dip in the pool of blackness in the past decade. One of my favorites was that everybody wants to like have a rapper on the song, right? And do this. They wanted to do that, but they ain't want to do the black, real black shit, right? They don't want to go to no Black Lives Matter march or stand up for some shit or be discriminated against. They're basically taking everything that, all the beauty of blackness and whitewashing it. I think if you are that willing to get all that self-tanner, pull an Ariana Grande, and try to pass as something other than white, which you actually are, you should also be willing to accept all the bullshit that comes with being a brown person in this country. Rachel Dolezal, what's, her, what's that fake, like, African name she has? Girl, you ain't got to lie to kick it. There's all sorts of white women that hang out with black people. And she still is insisting that she is black because she says she is black, which is the whitest thing to ever. Like, now nah, I don't got, I'm not, I don't have no black ancestry or anything, but I say it, so I'm black. My hope for white women is that you pick a lane. Either you're gonna pimp the game or you're gonna subvert the game. So make a choice. Or like do the Kardashian shit. You don't have to reply all to the email and say, I would also like to add. You can just listen. My advice to white women is, man your own goddamn business. There's Popeye's chicken sandwiches to be had. Damn. Raisins don't belong in potato salad. If I could send one message to all the white women out there that would make our lives better, it would be this. Lori's seasoned salt. Try it. <laughs>